tasty crafty friends so <clears throat> I'm a little obsessed with Rick Rack these days and I wanted some of this really really baby Rick Rack and um, and I wanted it in colors and I couldn't find any in colors I mean at Hobby Lobby they have I think like black white and red but anyway, I went on Amazon and I found this spool 50 yards and it was like $12. <clears throat> so I thought, well, that ought to be as much rickrack as a girl ever would need to make. And then I'm going to use alcohol inks and that's how I've done this one. Um, I just cut a yard off. I wadded it. Well, I, I put it in a bag, sprayed it with alcohol. <clears throat> And then dropped alcohol ink on it and squished it around. And the reason I have this glove on is because, you know, alcohol ink is not always easy to get off your hands. So, we're going to make some together. So, I want to make some yellow because you can't go wrong with yellow rick rack, right? And I really, <clears throat> this one is very, very variegated and I really like that. I'm hoping this is the color of yellow. And it's not going to be real orange because I want it to be like a sunshine yellow. Okay, so it looks like it's going to have a lot of gold in there. We'll see. And then, you know, you just mash it together. Might actually be kind of cool. Not exactly what I had in mind. That's not the color that I wanted. But still going to be pretty, I think. Okay, so I'm just mashing it all around, and it's not quite as, I'm just going to add a little more alcohol in there, and squish, and squish, and squish, oh yeah, now I think it's getting there, maybe. <clears throat> so, as I said, I like the highs and lows of it, you know? Because I do love myself some variegated colors. And, um, so let's pull it out and see. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Look. Oh, yes. I love that. So, it won't take it but a minute to dry. But look at all the color you get in there. Isn't that pretty? So cool and so easy. All right. So, like I said, I'm, try I'm thinking of colors for summer and for summer projects. Of course, you could do it for any kind of color that you wanted to. And you could pro you can use, imagine, I mean, it's like seam binding. You could probably try all kinds of inks and colors and know probably all kinds of things will work but <clears throat> let's make some uh let's see if we can make some oh man this isn't the one i wanted well here's some mojito let's try that that looks pretty fun i was gonna do a blue Oh my, this is going to be nice. Alright, so we're just going to scrunch and scrunch. And you know, if you like it to where it's got white in it, you can just stop scrunching whenever you want to. But I am liking the highs and the lows of the colors and maybe not all the way to white. So, let's see what we got now. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Now this will be pretty for something Christmassy or, you know, grassy green. And I'm trying to straighten it out as I pull it out of the bag because I want it to be now see, there's a really light place. But if you just rub on it a little bit, it'll change. Look at that. 
Okay, I don't want to get that on my yellow, which it should already be dry by now. <clears throat> so now I have a yellow, a pink, and a green. And I was going to make a blue, but let me see, this might be blue. I think that's got some pearl in it. This must be my pearl container. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. One more color. Uh, well, oh, let's see about, uh, that's called Sunset Orange. What about Coral? That would be pretty. And then, you know, you can just fold your bags up and save them and use them again. And as long as you put something similar in there, it'll be fine. <clears throat> purple. Let's try some purple. Oh, I said I was going to do coral. Oh. See, that's what happens when you have choices in front of you. It makes you want to do everything. <laughs> whatever project and you know even even if you can get it um i mean you can't i i, I and i searched the internet looking for colors and it was like even if you could find it was like three dollars a yard and i was like uh no because you know when we're crafting we can use up a yard in no time oh yeah Variegated, but still, it's beautiful. There we go. Now that one's dry. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. Okay, so I love being a crafter. <laughs> it's like it's like just being able to experiment and play, and you know. And then you get to then you get to use what you've created. So look at these, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Whew. Yes, I'm gonna keep going. But I just wanted to stop by and show y'all this. If if you like using Rick Rack, letting you know about this on Amazon. I will try to leave the link in my description box. But it's called um, one eighth inch Rick Rack or baby Rick Rack. If for some reason I can't get it connected and. Um, you know, and you get to use the alcohol inks that you have or whatever ink that you have. And have fun. And customize your colors. Alright. I love you guys. Blessings.